Well, Mark, it's a cruel game at times, and uh, that was a perfect example of it this afternoon. Yeah, devastated for the lads, to be fair. I thought we, uh, certainly second half, thought we were outstanding. Um, I mean, it's been one of those days. I've, all, I've always had uh, good fortune coming here. It's always been one of those grounds that I've really enjoyed coming to. I've, I've always had decent results. For whatever fortune I've had, it has paid me back tenfold today because... <laughs> We lost John Little in the first 10 minutes. We lost Dav five minutes after, both injuries. So two enforced changes. We conceded a really sloppy goal, which I believe, I'm told is out of play before in the build-up, but, you know, um, we still got to defend it better. Then we work our way back into the game. Yeah. And then we overplay sideways, backwards, which is totally against our principles for the, for the second goal. We come in at half time, we reset a few things. I thought we were magnificent second half. I thought we have created five, six unbelievable chances. We've got to score more. We've got to, you know, that's the difference. They had a chance from the edge of the box first half and scored. We've had four, you know, uh, Sam Ethington a 1v1. Uh, Kai, an open goal for Kai, um, where the keeper comes out. Kai from the edge, off great work from Nozer. Uh, I could just go through time and time again the amount of chances we have. Chance right at the death, which we just throw down the, the keeper's throat. So, yes, um, we've considered three goals and you cannot do that. We've got to address that. But in the same vein, we could have scored six or seven. Yeah. And, and to come away with nothing, I think, is completely unjust for the lads. And, and I do feel for them, yes, you can say, listen, you're going to con concede three goals, you, you know, you, you're going to lose football matches, but... Uh, yeah, I, I'm 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 gutted for us because I thought we were so 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 good second half. The penalty, I need to see it again. Unfortunately, I think we've we've made the referee make a decision. He couldn't give it quick enough, but we've made him make a decision. Yeah. So uh, the lads are all saying there was no contact. That, but uh, I need to see it again before I make comment. Really. Yeah, I mean uh, two two at that point. Got back into it in seventy fifth minute, I think. Were you happy with the point at that stage? I thought did, we could go and win it. Yeah, yeah. I genuinely thought we could go and win it. We, we created, still created a, a couple of really good chances. Um, you know, I think Sam's chances at 2 2. The one where their keeper comes out and heads it and leaves an open net is at 2 2. Um, the one where Nozzer plays into to Kai on the edge of the box is 2 2 and he, and he puts it wide. So we've had the, and then and then they've had two corners. The second corner results in a, in a goal. So. So um, having done so well, do you have to be harsh on them after that at the end? Well, I'm harsh on them for not not scoring the chances that they've created and not taking the chances that they've created because that wins your games. Yeah. Or it certainly gets your points in games and that's that's what we've fallen foul of. We haven't been sharp enough at the top end of the pitch despite creating some amazing chances. Um, so, yeah, it, I mean, it's, it needs a bit of digesting. What I don't want to do is... is you know, get a big overreaction here. We've, we've won four on the bounce. We've been super competitive here. If we'd have got a point, we'd have still been disappointed. But we'd have yeah. said, what a good point. Away at high, tough place to come. They're in the top six or seven. Yeah. And going twice we behind, are so plenty of Yeah, and we are so, so close. But what we're doing is when we do things that are away from our principles, we're getting punished. And then we're giving ourselves a bit of a mountain to climb in terms of trying to work your way back into games. Another goal for Riggy. Thought he was excellent again. Noza. Brilliant, made so many good runs, so clever around the box. But yeah, I'm, I'm so disappointed because we 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 should have got something. Uh, you touched on those injuries. What what's the uh, situation with Dav and, and Jordan? Obviously, they're limping away from the changing rooms. It looks pretty serious for both. Yeah, I mean, we don't know. Caitlin will have to have a look at them tomorrow probably and, and see. We, we were planning on coming in on Monday. I don't think that's going to be realistic for us to do now. Um, before Stockton at Wednesday, so on Wednesday, so. Jordan's, I think, is probably worse than Dav's. Um, if Jordan's is is what it could be, you know, um, he could be out for a while, which would be a blow for us because he's done ever so well. You know, and we, we know we can use Josh as a right back and he's played there all last season for Anna, no problem, but we need as Fitzpatrick back then and he's not quite fit. Right. So, yeah, we need to have a look at what we do with, with full backs before, before Wednesday. Dav's, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't yeah. know, Caitlin will have a look at it. Um, but it's obviously a blow when he comes off because he, he, he occupies so many, you know, so much physical presence from the opposition. He, he occupies their minds because they know what he can do to them if, if they're not sharp. So, 
Yeah, it was um, it was a blow for, for both. What what was the situation with Fitzpatrick? Did he have a pretty much fitness? Yeah, so we wanted to, to try and use him, and, and he hadn't trained for Carlisle this week, but he, he said he, he wasn't in the pain, and then when he came out to do the warm-up, he, he was still in pain, so yeah. it was just a, a bit of a late switch, which is a shame. Will he be ready for, for Wednesday? Probably not, but we'll, um, we'll we, I would certainly think we'll get him back for the trophy on Saturday. How do you feel about Wednesday night matches? Does it disrupt your schedule? Uh, yeah, I hate them. Um, it's probably why they do it, to be fair, though, that, that, that it annoys <laughs> yeah. people. Um, but, yeah, it does affect the schedule. It, it affects our rhythm and our routine, but it is what it is. I mean, we what we need to do is take the best bits of today's performance, and there was a, so many positives from it, certainly from an attacking perspective. I thought young Tom played ever so well. I'm yeah. he's been out of the team for two weeks, and, and he came back in, played well. Uh, and we had to use Tom Stevenson as a right back. Well, Tom Stevenson by trade is a forward. Well, it started you know. effectively up front yeah, and, and so, doing well. Um, yeah, so yeah, a few square pegs in round holes. But I think the, the, I say I'm, I'm disappointed for them. Yes, we'll be hard on them when we look back on it. But I think they deserved a point. Was the least they deserved. Uh, plastic or grass? Where do you stand on that? I'm not bothered. I'm not. We train on plastic every week, so it's not like it's it's alien to us. I'm, I'm amazed we've got through this many games without playing on it yet. Yeah. So I always and same think, again Wednesday. Yeah, I always think the the pitch here is good. I always think it's one of the better ones. Um, it does give you a different challenge. I thought it was a, a big issue for them when they um, when the ball bounced. You know when when. Both teams were a bit it more direct, and it bounced, and, and obviously t players have got to adjust to that. So, I thought it was. Um, I always think it plays well. I always think it's it's one of the better ones here, um, and and there's no excuse for any team because we all train on it. You know, it's yeah. it probably takes a bit more out. You like to David Norris, and I didn't want to use him for the full ninety, but but he was still running at the end. So so yeah, it's. Uh, I'll, I'm always traditionalist with grass. I think football stadiums, football should be played on grass, but you know, this is that's the world that we live in now. Uh, commiseration to Mark, a good effort to no avail, unfortunately. Thank you. Cheers, Steve.